Was it adding insult to injury in northeastern Japan? A powerful aftershock rocked the region Thursday night, tumbling items from shelves, shattering windows, and collapsing roofs that weren't already demolished by last month's massive 9.0 magnitude quake and the tsunami that followed. Power was knocked out, too. The company that serves northern Japan said 40% of households it supplies, some 2.6 million of them, were dark Friday. A spokesman said with power lines damaged, it wasn't clear whether operations anything close to normal could be restored. But the region's nuclear plants, including the stricken Fukushima Daiichi facility that's been leaking radiation, were largely spared additional damage, even if homes and offices had some cleanup to do. The 7.1 magnitude tremor didn't generate a tsunami, and three people were reported killed, which pales in comparison to the estimates of around 25,000 dead from last month's disaster. Still, the fresh bout of ground shaking seems to have further shocked many Japanese already stunned by the earlier devastation. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.